Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in today as Samuel, a character I haven't played in a little while and a modded character that I really enjoy. But yeah, as I sort of said in the last episode, I do want to sort of make a bit more of a habit of just doing some regular runs where we don't start with a crazy setup or items because I realise that some of you out there, you don't like the runs that are like start off super overpowered and you want to see the progressive strength grow. And yeah, I kind of wanted to ask as a question of the day in this video and it'd be really, really nice. I know some of you aren't regular commenters and that is absolutely fine I myself very rarely comment on videos so I completely get it but even for some of you that don't comment so much um, what's sort of your preference with the amount of videos I do on like showcases and stuff? Would you rather it be mostly showcases with a few normal runs? Would you rather it be 50-50 um, and we do a bit of showcasing and a bit of normal runs? Or would you rather it be majority regular runs and then just the occasional showcase for specific items or new stuff? I'd be interested to know what sort of the preference of everyone so I can get a gauge of what to do next time. And as I said, I know some of you are um, people that regularly comment, but those of you are actually the most important people to comment because, like, you are the silent majority, um, and it's 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 really really nice to have a, a gauge of what the people that don't really talk so much um, have to say about that topic. Because there's a lot of you uh, watching. Oh, dude, this is kind of good. Can we go like this and then like this? Oh, <laughs> the token didn't duplicate the golden penny. That's a bit sad. I was really hoping it would. It just gave me one extra penny. That's a little bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping it would duplicate it there, but whatever. Um, Malak Mott here allows us to get some invincibility and a much faster fire rate, which is really nice. We did already get a tears up, which is real good. Malak Mott's charging very quickly here. Good, good, good. Be nice if we could get two extra pennies here. I don't mind Marrow, thank you. Good, good. Cool. We don't have a sack room this fall, but we do have a cash room that I'll go to the... I think Malik Mott can give us an invincibility for the cash room too. Oh, come on, game. You've got to give us two more pennies. You've got to give us one more penny. We've got two poops here. Two poops and a dream. Oh, damn it. Okay, cash room. You are my last chance. Uh, to be fair, secret room is also a viability too. Let me just quickly check out. Okay, secret room. I'm actually not entirely sure because there's a few locations it could be. Because it could be, it could be here, or it could be up from the item room. I'm just gonna go into the item room real quick and make sure that that wall isn't obstructed. And uh, I think it is. I think it is there. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. This seems most likely. There you go, baby. Um, oh. oh no way! We chopped off his head and got a penny. Okay, it all worked out, baby. It all worked out. Um, we got the evil sticker. Increase the chances for immoral hearts, curse pennies, dire chest, spicy keys, copper bombs, and curse batteries. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to take that. I think I'm just going to take the uh, the bridge bombs. Plus five bombs for 15 cent is not bad. Um, and being able to bridge gaps, not super useful, but with the plus five bombs, it's something that's kind of worth picking up. But yeah, it'd be really good to know what sort of your thoughts are because, um, oh, really, um... I really want to make sure that I'm putting out content that people are enjoying. And I'll be honest, um, I've seen a, a little bit of a trend recently over the past few episodes of people saying that they want to see less overpowered runs that start off with a lot of items and they want to see more. But at the same time, I really like doing those, even though, yeah, I do agree, the, there's not as much sort of mystery of if I'm going to win or not. Um, I, I like doing those because in those... Um, oh my god. Uh, in those episodes, it's really nice to be able to showcase people's modded content because, I don't know, some modders don't get the recognition they deserve sometimes, and it's nice to be able to give their items a, a showcase and spotlight. Dude, this is awful. This is so difficult to get to these guys. I'll need to use my, uh, my throne ability here because I can't make my way over there. I don't use my throne ability much with this guy, but when duty calls, when duty calls... Because what, what I could do is I could um, make two save files and have one save file for uh, showcasing stuff and one save file for um, doing one minute, doing regular episodes and um, potentially going on a streak. I do like trying to get win streaks. I'm not that into it because I, I, I play fairly risky, so win streaks aren't really in my nature. But 
I, I managed to get, um, sort of before I, I changed up my thumbnail style and sort of welcomed some new people to the videos, I, I did a, a, a win streak attempt on Fiendfolio, and I think we got, was it 56 wins in a row? I'm pretty sure it was over 50. It was, I think it was 56 wins in a row, which I am pretty darn proud of. I think that's uh, that's that, that's like the highest win streak I've ever had in Isaac, and it was with Fiendfolio on. Now the the sort of semblance of difficulty is kind of in a weird place because Fiendfolio definitely makes the game harder, but some of the other mods we have that add like new heart types and new pickups definitely make the game easier. So it's kind of like a question of was the streak harder than vanilla or not? I definitely think it was personally. Um, I think a streak, if I was to turn off all my mods and just play vanilla, I reckon I could get a hundred streak. As long as I was playing like, uh, like as long as I excluded certain characters, I'd say like Tainted Lost would probably be one that I'd exclude. But other than that, I reckon I could do it. Tainted Lost I'm actually pretty decent at, but I'd say on a streak the pressure would be so immense that I'd end up failing. Shoot the whoop, maybe? Sadly not, but kids drawing. Eh, might be good, might be good. I could, I could get behind. And what we got going on in here? Ooh, Gorgon, baby. I love Gorgon. Only thing about it is um, sometimes when pickups spawn in the middle of the room, they spawn behind him. That can be a little confusing. But with this character, pretty good. He, uh, he freezes enemies for us periodically. And I'm pretty sure it works on bosses too. Yeah, it does. Good. Gotta be a little careful about the baby. I'm gonna try and kill the baby first if I can with Malik Mott. Yeah, there you go. It's the ideal way to kill this guy. And the freezing there helps out a ton. I'm gonna go Devil Deal here considering we've got kids drawing. Um, and 25% chance that enemies will spawn a ghost on death. Spawn chance isn't affected by luck. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, and I'm gonna leave the pet peeve. Pet peeve is... it's alright. Do you know what? We'll go down this way as well. Why not? I might do a mother run here. This character's kind of a, a difficult one to do a mother run on, but I don't know. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We could give it a go. It could It could be fun. It could be fun. Let's try it out. But yeah, I want to I wanna get a decent mix of, um, of regular episodes and showcase stuff. But I think in the situation we're in right now where I'm backlogging for a holiday, it makes more sense to do more regular episodes just because they're easier to backlog record. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling I'd get hit there. That's, that's fine. It wasn't that bad of a hit. I like the little ghosties we've got around our head here because we've got that item we just got from the devil deal. Ooh, damn. I didn't realize you'd fire out a uh, thingy there. It's okay, the Hermit. Nah, yeah, it's safe as a key, but I don't really need it right now. I guess I could go for the devil deal. Unfortunately, Malak Mott doesn't give you flight, even though it looks like it does, but that might be a little overpowered, and also could potentially break things. I'm liking these Purgatory Ghosts spawning off of killing things. This is a, a pretty good item, I've got to say. 25% chance isn't super high, but the damage you're outputting is reasonably high, so I think it's worth. Got a um, champion version of this guy here. I'm gonna drop a bomb on him as well. Make life a little easier. Ooh, my goodness. I was not expecting this attack. That guy, he got my broken heart there, which is a real shame. That guy's kind of hard. We did get HP up back, though, which is nice. And a secret disc. I'll just pop now. Secret disc. Um, Two soul hearts for a tears up and a damage up. It's super risky, but I'm actually pretty down for that. The tears up especially. But yeah, that's that's definitely pretty risky. It puts us a, a, a low HP, but I'm I'm willing to take the risk. Why is our speed so low? Do we get something that's a speed down? Our speed wasn't this low a moment ago, right? I'm not crazy. Greed's but man. That would be rather nice. Trade our trinket for Greed's butt. Honestly, the trinket is good, but Greed's butt is better. I'm guessing it's one of the secret room items that we that we managed to gain has given us a speed down. Greed's butt is so much safety, it's insane. And we got Bob's heart, which unfortunately I do not want. Thank you for that, good sir. 
Thank you for that. And we've got a. Uh, um, we ought we ought to do this before it expires. Um, two soul hearts for four bombs. Hell yes. What a deal. We got a lot of stats back there. I'm not quite sure what item we had that was ruining our stats, but. Good stuff. We have a very good setup now. Oh, we don't have a key though. Did that key bump goddamn take a key from us and spawn a chest instead? I'm going to go through the, um, the mirror realm and try and get a key that way, I guess. Okay. I'm going to have to error room on the next floor to make sure I don't accidentally go to the wrong floor here. Otherwise, I'm going to end up going to the wrong floor. Right, grab that. I guess with flight here, I can try and... Uh, I should have gone to the boss trap room while I had only one red heart. I didn't think about that. That is my bad. Yeah, I guess if I error room now, it'll take me to back to the regular floor rather than taking me through to um, the mines. So I'll have to do my error room card on the next floor to make sure I stay on the correct path. If I want to do mother, that is. Which right now, I'm feeling mother. I think, it, I think mother would be fun. Malak Mott makes life a lot easier there. There's the key straight away, baby. And I could go do my boss again, but honestly, that boss was was kind of... The, the, the clog brownie variant was kind of sketchy. So I'm just going to take my key and be able to get into my item room and back the hell off. Euphoria. I think I do have the Euphoria buffer, but I think I'm going to go for random item instead. Bottomless bag. How does that work? Upon use, become invincible to projectiles. Hold the bag up and start sucking all nearby projectiles for three seconds. When the effect ends, all such projectiles are released as homing tears in the firing direction. That's kind of good. Uh, basically, we can gain ourselves some immunity from projectile damage for a short while. I guess the specific attacks where that would be better. Um, none that come to mind right now, but I suppose that brownie uh, fight would have been made easier with that setup. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not what I was looking for, but... I'll be reasonably happy with it. Right, let's uh, pop in through here as well. And yeah, we're going to carry on to the mines here, because why not? Good stuff. Down we go. And we've got we got okay items right now. Not got anything absolutely crazy. Of course, we do have the butt. That. That is an enemy that I really shouldn't be... Uh, a getting tangoing with with close range i need to be yeah i kind of had a feeling that was going to happen that's that enemy really needs changing to be honest look how laggy this is 12 fps the game is at 12 there's no one enemy that should tank the game down to 12 fps i got an item there tiny planet Oh, dude, Tiny Planet is actually amazing for us it just gives us a massive range increase and doesn't do anything else Wow, okay. That's very nice for us. Like, that range increase is huge. Taking damage has a 50% chance to create a black brimstone ring around you. The ring inherits your tier effects. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, just we just got a huge scythe out of that. I like it. So if I, if I kill this guy and then do my bag... Okay, that didn't work. But this guy, for example. Nope, the bag, the bag got put down. Okay, let's ignore the bag for now. I don't think I'm going to get much use out of the bag, let's be honest. Oh my god, I'm taking some really bad damage at the moment. Oh, there's a tinted rock here, though. Glad I spotted that. The double soul heart payout is very, very useful right now. We are in desperate need of it. Swipe away. Where art thou? Oh my god, you fucking threaded the needle, good sir. Absolutely threaded the needle. Wasn't expecting that. And then our boss is you-know-who. We'll leave him for now. Yeah, I'm failing to see... I think, I think for me, the, the issue is that... Um, I have an active in Malik Mott already that makes me invincible, so the bottomless bag just doesn't really feel great. I guess for bosses it might end up being good. 
But right now, it's just... I don't know. I ain't vibing with it. I ain't vibing with it. So, can we tell what either of these are? Well, we know one is a question mark. What the hell could that be? I really don't recognize that at all. Let's take it and see what it is. Malice. Oh, I don't like malice. Um... Used to turn into a malice fireball and charge across the room. Enemies killed in the state have a chance to drop black hearts. Okay, maybe it'll be okay. I've not really used it. I mean, I suppose it is kind of on theme. Wait, what? That was terrible. <laughs> I went like two inches. It said shoot across the room. You've lied to me. Okay. Um, There's quite a lot of prizes down there. I'm going to use two bombs to get in there. Oh my god, that was worthwhile. Good stuff. We got a, a golden sticky nickel there. Bit cheeky. Right, makes our shop a lot more valuable right here. Um, I say more valuable. In either thing in there that we want. I suppose I could just use it to like cross rooms faster as well because it recharges over time, which is nice. Oh, Gorgon. You are freezing the right people at the right time. Now, the question is, does it go through doors? Oh, I did it over a pit again. I need flight to stop doing that. Otherwise, I'm going to keep accidentally doing it. I keep forgetting. Right, I want to see if it goes through doors. It does. Okay, that's kind of nice. Not that we need it to, but it is kind of nice that it does. Oh, wait. Does it give us iframes? It does. Okay. That's pretty good. Slash through all enemies um, and beggars in the room. Slain beggars, drop extra pickups. We don't really have a beggar on this floor, so that's not super useful for us. I completely missed. Dude, that still hurt me. What the hell? My bad. Okay. Malik Mott, and then we error room out of here. So, killed enemies have the chance to drop black hearts. It's kind of intriguing to me. I'm wondering what that chance is. So far, we haven't gotten lucky with it. Oh my god, that black ring though. It's good. The old classic Athame ring. The Athame ring do be back. Oh, that hurt me. Okay, oh my god, I'm taking some bad damage right now. Okay, don't don't use malice in situations where it doesn't make sense. Oh, dude, I'm taking so much bad damage right now. Getting stuck on everything. That was not a good fight, but we did manage to get ourselves Powerball, which I haven't seen before. Interesting. And then we pop our corruption here to error room. And it's unfortunately not a great error room, but hey her. I'm not particularly comfortable with the fact that I'm going to give away two hearts to get onto the next floor. Oh my god, oh my god. How does this thing die? Kill it with fire. Okay, it just dies when everything else dies, I see. Oh, you bastard. Although that actually used it for free. Oh, okay, because it used red hearts, of course. Um, right. I guess we'll play you a little bit then. Didn't mean to take the burn heart there. That's not ideal. That's kind of nice. I'm just going to get out of here then, I think. That hurt my holy mantle, but otherwise... <laughs> I love the fact that it just, like, blasts through rooms. That's so good. 
Secret room is looking like it could be here. That'd be really nice because then we can get into the boss trap room, which would be very nice too. Good old free boss trap room. Some extra red hearts there, not particularly great. Plus two look up and sponsor puzzle pieces, not bad. And these two uh, thingies are pretty good too. What does the worship card do again? Uh, worship's the uh, the damaging ourselves one, which right now is just not tenable. We, can, we, we can't be taking that. Dude, I am so bad at throwing these goddamn bombs. Okay, that was a much better one. Passive melee that can be thrown charged from more powerful spawns feathers. Okay, that's kind of fine. Oh, I forgot that we got Tiny Planet going right now. You get out of here, you. Took a lot of damage we shouldn't have taken there, but oh well. Wait, is, are we going to lose our Eternal Heart by giving giving away our thingy to the door? To the mausoleum door? Give away our HP. That would be a little bit sad. Oh my god. This goddamn... I've lost it anyways. This stupid Malice item. I, I was like, why do I hate this item? I don't remember why I hate this item. I am now starting to remember why I hate this item. It doesn't give you black hearts. That's a goddamn lie. And <laughs> I seem to just be whacking myself into enemies constantly. Yeah, it's not... I mean, it is, it is definitely a skill issue. I am just using it poorly, but I, I'm still going to blame the item. Just let me have this small victory. I'm really hoping we can get a cool synergy item at some point with our scythe as well. There's quite a few of them out there, so it'd be nice to see one. Red stew's pretty good. We like a bit of red stew. Good on you for hurting yourself. You, you are absolutely wasting my time right now, though. Um, he's pretty good, but I don't want to waste my red stew time right now. So I get Greed's butt help me out there. Luckily, I can just about reach him right now. We got him. Muscle meat. Krampus is a, a good time there. Ah, come on. Although, to be fair, I'm actually way more happy with that than the current Axe, so I'll take it. we got our mausoleum door open. We've not found our item room yet, so we are going to have to waste some red stew time going back to get that, which I'm a little miffed about, so I'll be honest, because I would very much like to uh, keep my red stew damage going, but needs must. I can't be leaving an item room unattended. I feel like that's blasphemous. I mean, I'd obviously get some planetarium chance. I'm already on 85 um, percent chance. Dude, we are getting a lot of stuff I don't need right now. The world card I will certainly take for the next floor. Burn heart there, lovely. <gasps> the mind. Okay, Swindler would have been good, but the, the mind here is, uh, is pretty decent. Fiend folio error. So I don't need the world card really anymore, unless I get the curse, because I'm pretty sure my world card clears curses with one of the mods that I have, which is good. But I really, map, mapping is one of the things in Isaac that I absolutely adore having. So having the mind, which I haven't actually seen as an item in a very long time, is, is really, really nice to have, actually. Really, really nice to have. All right, down we go. And then we can just kind of, yeah, beeline it to the rooms we need to beeline it to, which I like. Good old Krampus's head. I love the way we've got a little swing with the um, the pillowcase there. I might as well um, do some of these excess rooms, even though I don't have to, just to try and build up more damage with... Um, what's it called? 
As you spin down dice to spin down our uh, trinkets is okay, but I'm not going to go for that. Open up, you big shit. Magic marker. I'll bomb it and see if we get it for free. We did not. Keep it going. When entering a new room, one random enemy will be crippled. I will take it. Ah, oh, nah. I kind of like the black ring more, to be honest. Actually, to be fair, if it works on bosses, that's really good. If there's only one, one enemy in the room. I don't have keys right now. I don't have keys. Damn. What's going on with this rock right here? Oh, it's a, it's a large rock. Wasn't expecting that. Lovely stuff. But I need a key game. None of these are keys. Ow. Oh my god, stop giving me money! <laughs> this is so fucking annoying. Also, apparently I didn't finish that room, which is frustrating. Oh my god, finally. A key. Keying is believing. Yeah, we've lost most of our damage from Red Stew now. The Red Stew wasn't really great for us there. But it's kinda nice. Flatstone, I don't think would do anything right. Ooh. However. Oh, Dr. Fetus the But Parasite I think does work. As you can see, it's changed our scythe colour at least. So it's doing something. I don't have any bombs either, dude. I have nothing right now. What's going on? So much money and nothing to do with it. A luck penny? It's something. Yeah, okay. Parasite is working nicely. And it's working with um, Tiny Planet too, which is kind of cool. I am going to reroll this for a broken heart. Um... Honestly, speed up is kind of nice. Our speed's been low for a while here. I don't mind that. A little worried for Mother, but we're doing okay. Right. Again, game, I am in desperate need of keys and bombs. Keys, preferably first. We're getting a lot of chests. There's a bomb. You bomb into here. It gives us another bomb and a key. So we can get to our boss trap room and our item room. You watch. That's exactly what happened, look. Another thing that requires a key. The room drops are not it right now. Enemies are annoying. You can just die straight away, please. Thank you. We are kind of killing it, but... Oh, man. The frustration. Of just no bombs, no keys, forever. We could do so much. We could, we could have the world in the palm of our hand. Dude, these guys are strong, man. Another bomb here. Lovely. We can at least do boss trap room now. Latch key, maybe. Excuse me? Oh, there was a mini boss in here, which means you can't bomb through. I forgot about that goddamn stupid bug. I need to use Malak Mot a little more often. I'm really underutilizing it right now. That's a key, baby. That's a key. Yeah, I'm underutilizing Malak Mot right now, definitely. 
Um, and then we get this, which is also bad. We're taking a lot of random items here. Dr. Medicine. Do I think he's healing on using pills or something like that? Yeah. Not great. Die, fiend. Another key here would be nice to see what our library has to offer. We've already got one book, so bookworm would be plausible. Thank you for the key. Also, to be fair, there could be a book that we want to take. Spawns a loop card. I don't know what a loop card is. Teleports to out of map super secret room. Room contains um, garden trowel and four dirt patches. Interesting. These loop cards seem pretty good. I think I'm going to stick with this. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this. So much money. I don't have any keys for the shop game. You know that, right? The good thing about getting all this money is we have Greed's butt charged up to protect us from damage at like all times, which is pretty useful. That's a bomb at least. That was a good use of a bomb there. I only had one, but... Right, boss time. Oh, what? It, it used both of my charges of Malik Mott. I had two charges stacked up and it used both of them. Two soul hearts there. Kind of nice. Ah, oh, I grabbed the wrong thing, but Brimstone there. Oh, my God. Okay, so this just creates a little rift. This creates a Brimstone that is insane. Um... Okay, I don't know why it's at the polar right though. I should definitely should have taken the negative. Um Cool. Go. Dude, that's just this is too many tears. Why is it not as wacky as it was in the other room? Dude, this is insane. This is too many tears, man. I can barely get in there. I'm a melee character, remember? Chill. That was insanity. Oh, it's because of Parasite. Okay. It's because of Parasite. It's when it hits a wall or something. So I want basically, I want to be charging into every room and then um, sweep, swiping like normal. And leaving the linger damage to do its thing. Oh, the spider's there! Oh my god, I'm taking so much dumb damage right now. It's actually frustrating. Right, this is this is gold for us right now. We, this needs to pay the hell out. I need a lot of soul hearts right now. I am running low. Take that. We got the outpost card. Teleports to an out of map bedroom. That's not that good for us right now. I'll, I'll use it anyways, I guess. Unfortunately, it was a dirty bedroom. And the key, the bed's locked behind a key door. And we didn't have a bomb. Basically worthless. Right, we can be light to the boss now. Oh, that's so goddamn cool. 
you hit it on top of a wall, it, it goes pretty wild. And the, like a little rift it makes is good too. Doing that extra damage over time. Ooh, some extra money. <clears throat> okay, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't like the look of this room, so I've got to go now. And then I've got to go now. And then I've got to go now. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That looked scarier than it actually was. How am I meant to not get hit by this? Oh my god. There you go, he's dead there. Yeah, my health isn't really that great. <sighs> Landing a tier and then we reduce the time to fight your next shot. I don't know if that would work for us. I'm going to try it. I'm going to gamble on and hope that it does work. But it's a pretty big gamble, I'll be honest. Smith Forge card. Smelts your trinket and teleports to out of map super secret room containing three trinkets. It's pretty good. And we got activates your active item four to six times for half a chance to disappear on use. That's actually not bad because it's an eight room charge. I'm going to go for that. I've never really got a good use out of this eternal ba battery thing here, but. I don't know, it could be pretty good. I'm gonna go for some other rooms first though, because otherwise we won't get a charge. Right, we definitely need a lot more health coming our way. Bombs are good too for stopping her in her charge phase. I know you're going to be annoying. Do you know what? Malik Mott is, is probably ideal for you. What a cool enemy design, though. It's like a whole ass mini boss. I don't know what's in that, but I'm going to just take it. Not good, sadly. Ba -da 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 -da. Beautiful. Right, so now we can do that. And it did disappear. We got three cards. So we got Smell Your Current Trinket again. Um, slows down players and enemies until you clear the room. That's really nice. Destroys all poops in the room and spawns a blue spider on each destroyed poop. And for each enemy in the room, spawns two to four spiders under the player. So let's do this one first. Oh, wait, we got another one there as well. Teleports to out of map boss challenge room. Okay, so let's do that first. And yeah, I guess none of these are great for us. Then we'll do this one next. It's health, as long as we can not get hit against the boss. Pretty good. Whoa, what boss is this? Oh, I, I've, I've done this guy before, yeah. I just don't see him very often. I did not... I did not expect that. He dived underground and I thought that was it. I thought he was dead. And I just accidentally walked into a goddamn curse room. Are you kidding me? Thank God that has a black heart in it. <laughs> I can't believe I just walked into that by accident. Right, uh, then we do this on the next room. Then we go back and we hope 
that this card carries us because we do not have the HP really if it doesn't. No way we got crystal key to give us an ultra secret room there. That's kind of crazy. Oh, really? Really? Wow, not, not the best of items to grab there, I'll be honest. And HP up, I'll take it. Get out of here, you. I'm definitely going to take damage to this guy, sadly. Although Malik Mott might save me. Yeah, it will. Good. Whew, man. We've got some HP at least. Right, and then we've got this card, which slows the room down until we beat it, which should, in theory, help us out. We're going to be using the absolute ever-living shit out of Malik Mott here. Not using the Brimstone so much, but the Slice and Dice is working really, really well. There you go. Through to the next phase. The slowdown's huge, by the way. It's, it's a lot of slowdown. I can just hold down fire while I've got in Malik Mott, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna have to wait this one out, I think. Unless I can get a brimstone to reach. Yes, just about. I can get in there again with Malik Mott. Ah, oh, bugger. Oh, wait. Gorgon froze you during this phase. Did not realize that could happen. Ah, I was a bit too close there. I tried getting in there with a brimstone before that happened. There you go, though. I think we did it. There you go. Beautiful, we got to see some cool synergies and we had a good fun run. But yes, please make sure to leave a comment as I suggested at the start of the episode, letting me know what you want to see more of. And yeah, I will continue on this run and do more of what I can. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.